soft velocity. In this chapter, we will learn how to add custom security to H5. Let's run this application on the desktop. If you see, it is a regular application. I can go anywhere inside the program and do whatever I want. Okay? But let's take a look when I run it on the H5. If you see, it is asking me for a username and a password. So let's enter this. And we have a section of web users. We have an H5 user, and I have some permissions here. If you see, even when I have some icons, I don't have any kind of a string after the icon. We will learn to do that also. But right now, let's focus on the security. Let's take a look at the main. When I open the window, if I am running under H5, I'm going to call using a class the login window. Let's see what the class is doing. It's very simple. If I fail to enter a user, it will basically close the program and here is my window with the login information one advantage of having H5 is I don't have to customize the desktop the desktop window because we are using CSS and HTML5 so the, the theme will take care of very much everything if you see, it is a very simple window, only a couple icons. And in here, I also have a few lines of code. It's very simple. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm checking if the user is inside the database. And if it is, I'm going to check if the password is a match. And then I return the value. Very simple. Let's run it again. And we will see. See, I don't have anything here. But under H5, it is asking me. It is asking me for information. Okay? H5, H5. Well, basically. It is hiding the, the web users. It is also hiding something else. Let me open the window in a separate way. You see, I have access to I have access to very much everything but the web users. Admin is get access to the users so I can add more users or customize the access. This is very good. This is something that uh, you should have because you need to be able to specify what kind of access you have on the program. Let's analyze this again because it is important. That we take a really good and deep understanding of the security. Let's, let's run it again. And let's let's go as administrator. Okay. Web users. If I choose H5 and permissions. You will see that I am allowed to access inventory and um, point of sale. And I, uh, I can add some 
extra items on to the database. I can change, but I am not allowed to delete. I can view, and I have something, some specials. Okay. If I'd like to change that, I just have to add this, and now I am able to delete something on that window. Okay. But what if I want to deny access to this section? Well, I am going to erase that. I, this time I'm going to enter as H5, okay? H5, H5, and there we go. Okay, did you see? I no longer have access to inventory. Now, and I cannot uh, modify anything for the users, I am going to enter as a super user. And I can do this, permissions, now I can modify this and allow access, okay? If I go back again, it's working. And let's see the code that makes this possible. Basically, when I open the window, I call the login because this one, this time it is a main it is the main program. So, but I'm going to do some security routine. But since it is um, conditional only for H5, if I want to have the same functionality on the desktop, I just have to comment out that. And that's it. Okay. Now let's take a look. Uh, security routine. Basically, I have a a class. I am telling it that I would like to know if I have access to this section and access to this one and it will return an OK or something entirely different. If it is not OK, I will hide the button. That's the difference with H5 and the desktop because on the desktop, um, well, you can hide the button, you can destroy it, you disable it, but on H5, it is better if you just hide it. It's going to save you a lot of time. Um, and let's take a look at the icon because that's something very important. If we check this user's window, you will see that there is a very simple window. I didn't have to add any wallpapers or anything else because, as I told you, H5 is gonna is going to add the theme to the to the window. Okay, but now you will see that we didn't have any kind of uh, strings inside the browse with the icons for the access on everything that you, you see. All that you see is nice um, checkboxes and that's it. And how can you make it? Well, it is very simple. Um, at get property, and get property, basically what I'm doing is if I have uh, this ID and the column column number, I am going to erase the string. I am going to pass a blank string to the constructor. This way, I will get rid of the Boolean value Instead of displaying a 1 as a true, I will have a blank string. And a blank string is going to look fantastic on H5 because, well, I just want to have the icons. I don't want anything else. So it will look fantastic. I mean, well, it's got all the rights. So you just see. I don't have anything else, only the icons, and it will look very great. With this, you can have um, a very good security and a login system, and you can customize the security um, based on your needs. And you don't need a template. Basically, you can use the security template that comes with H5 
but it will only allow one password. Uh, with this, you can have as, ma as many passwords and as many users as you want.